tell me what you want to see here. I've got a list of things I can go. Uh, we could spend a big chunk just talking about the museum. Uh, this is one of the most popular sims that I took my students to last year. Um, and the reason why is you can see fossils here uh, on display that you can't see um, in uh, the real life museum because they're locked up behind security doors and so on. All right, like I said, this is based on a real life museum. Uh, and some of the cool things are over here, like the oldest Virgin fossils in Virginia are on display here in the virtual museum. I got this, I've got a curator's badge, so I go into the collections and I can take pictures of things that are not on display. Um, so for example, there's this really cool Olenos trilobite, which I love from the Rome formation. And on number 19, if you look here, um, there's these cone-shaped, uh, get up close and you'll see a circle in the upper left-hand corner and then there's like an ice cream cone and this that's this weird fossil called saltarella that nobody knows. You know, is it a jellyfish? Is it a cephalopod? Nobody knows. So this is a fun one to give the kids and say, what kind of animal do you think made this? And then number 20 is an archaeocyathid. Uh, this is a slide of a fossil sponge. And we've got some really nice archaeocyathid sponges uh, that you'll notice over here in the museum. The museum has an excellent exhibit of the Cretaceous Seaway. 87 million years ago, the central part of the United States was flooded with water, and there was all these weird animals in it, reptiles here. And if you look above me, there's a 3D model of a tylosaur uh, that we brought into onto this platform. And then over here is the late Ordovician extinction exhibit. Uh, we have a lot of fossils from organisms that lived 450 million years ago. And one of the things that geologists and paleontologists have known, this is one of the time periods where a lot of, or 86% of organisms in the oceans died out. What I'd like to do is show you some of the student-created sims that are on here. And there's four of them that I'm really proud of. One of them is an ecology sim. One of them is Pompeii um, that I worked with a student on. It took us hours and we're still not done with it. And then there are two others that are uh, like moon colonies, which were entirely done by students. All right. So anyway, this, uh, this sim was entirely created by a student. If you press the Z button, you can actually fly around and you can see the entire design here of the moon colony, which I think is a really cool feature. So the idea that the student had was to create a series of domes connected by corridors. And then uh, on the end, that gray structure is a nuclear reactor. And I think he's got a rocket ship on the end of one of these. And the idea was to figure out what kind of buildings you would need for life support, what kind of buildings you would need for research. This would be a sort of 2050 design. And I told students, think about the year uh, in terms of how complicated you want to make this thing. But literally it was using the easy build tool, uh, going into the inventory, uh, clicking, oh yeah, add that structure, add this structure, and then nudging them and rotating them into place. But it turned out, I thought he did a great job. All the all the tubes are connected to the domes very nicely. I mean, it looks like, you know, what you might actually see on the moon one day. This one, let's try Pompeii for you history buffs and uh, join me there. All right, so this is one of my favorite uh, sims on here, uh, the Pompeii. And if you turn around, you can see Vesuvius in the distance. So we were able to get a model of the volcano landform and then the other thing that we did was we got a uh, the blueprints of the actual layout of all the buildings in Pompeii. And we got some columns. Uh, some other things that the student wanted was, uh, if you're familiar with Pompeii, you know there are ash figures. Yeah. So over here you see the crouching boy ash figure. That's the model that we brought into um, uh, oh, wow. into here as well. So you can get some really good detail. All right, so uh, last year at my school, we have a group called the New Tech Community, and they wanted to do a project on ecology. So the first thing we did was we got them a school building. 
and the idea was to create this so that elementary the, the students were working at the high school level but they wanted to create it for elementary school students with the eagle and so on <laughs> and then what they did was uh, they did research on the animals that live in our county things like ducks and over here is it looks like a robin uh -huh. and then over here they put a uh, I believe this is a food web yeah showing how uh, the worm eats the tree bush, and the, the birds eat the worm, and the bigger hawks eat the other birds. Let's do the dinosaur one since I'm not here and a lot of uh, objections. So, me. All right, so welcome to Virginia and Maryland 112 million years ago. Um, and uh, I first started thinking about this uh, when I attended a lecture by Dr. Rob Weems, who worked for the U.S. Geological Survey, and then he retired, and he spent retirement looking around Virginia for dinosaur footprints. So the idea was to create a, a reconstruction of what um, Virginia and Maryland would have looked like. It was sort of like Jurassic Park, well, actually Cretaceous Park. 